We never saw or heard of George Arlington again. One day, the vagabond minstrel simply vanished. Maybe he committed suicide. Maybe he got really old and died the way people are supposed to. His life could have been filled with excitement and adventure. My mom always said it was probably as dull as dishwater, but the twinkle in her eye said something different. I think Deuce finally learned to swim. Whatever happened to Deuce is a mystery. But one thing is certain, he went home. Deuce. Deuce. Yeah? We had a good run, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. We laughed, cried. Shot, killed, survived. Deuce, I think it's time we go our own separate ways. Hey, don't talk like that. You'll ride it out like before. It's different this time. Charlie, I don't know how to do this alone. Uh, it's too damn cold. I can play for you, Charlie. No! No! You should have destroyed that thing a long time ago! It's more than you are. Enough. I've had enough. It's funny. I can feel the sickness inside. Feels good, Deuce. Do you know what life is like when it can be snatched away at any moment? P -p Precious. Sh show, show me, show me again. That's my wife, Marianne. And that's my boy, Christopher. I wish, I wish I could have met them. So do I. It was long before your time. Find yourself, Deuce. And come on. Charlie. 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 <laughs> dust the heart, and unto dust thou shalt return. <laughs> I'll see you at home, my friend.
close your eyes and open wide. I touch your nose and then your toes. Wake up, wake up, sleepy heads, with a kiss from me. Now out of bed. strong and independent woman. Get it together. First interview. Gotta go. Christy, come down and eat. We gotta go. No, no, Deborah. No, I. Deborah. Eat your breakfast, Jordan. And it's mom, not Deborah. Careful, sweetie. Mom, I'm thirsty. Apple juice, milk, or water? Juice. Juice, please. Juice, please. <laughs> Juice, please. Christy, you're being an anchor, and what I need right now is an oar. We gotta be out of the house in five minutes. Go sit down with your brother, honey. I need to finish making lunches, okay? Huh? Look at me, Deborah. I see Look you, at me. Sweetie. Look at me, Deborah. I'm eating. I see you, honey. Look at me. You are oh. not wearing that. You look like a prostitute. <laughs> Mom, prostitute. Christy took my how about I wear what I want? Oh, oh, Deborah. I made, I made a mess. You can wear whatever you want, just not that. Fine. Mom, Chrissy took my oh, muffin. Deborah. Go upstairs and change. I just need you to look human. If I want my ass to hang out, that's exactly what I'll do. I gave you that ass. Thanks, I think I'll use it. For what? Whatever I want. We don't have time for this. Jordan, stop it, Mom! <laughs> stop it! Debra, look at me. Look at me, I'm eating. Jordan, I look hate it. you! Mom, my new dress! Mom, it's like you have your hands full with the ten-year-old baby and the tard. Don't call him that! For what? Oops, Debra. I, I did make a mess. 
No, Christy! You, no, don't Christy, touch me! Don't, don't, I don't, don't touch me! Like, I don't, you can't I don't touch like me! I don't like it! Don't touch me! 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 Don't touch me!
What if one of them would got hurt in your attempt to kill yourself? You hand me that shirt? Please. Good manners. Please. You cannot leave the hospital. Were you wearing your seatbelt? Well, then your mom's doing a good job. Yeah, right. Sir, you can't leave until the doctors examined you fully. You know, when I first woke up, I thought you were the angel of death coming to drag my soul into hell. I can see now you're just a pain in the ass. Oh, oh, disgusting. <laughs> What's going on in here? <sighs> Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get back into bed. And you may not leave till the doctor says you're ready for discharge. Oh, I'm leaving. Or I'll feel fit discharge all over this room. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir, it's hospital regulation. If you insist, I'm going to have to call security. Ow! Well? Well what? Have you got a drink? No. This is a hospital. Well then are you going to call security or do I have to knock you on your ass first? I know your type. Do you now? It's your funeral. Hopefully. What kind of drink does he want, Mommy? Juice, water, or milk? Um, someone's special juice. Yeah, alcohol. Can we go? Christy? Oh, no, he reeks of it. What if there's internal bleeding? What's internal bleeding? Perfect. Do you have somewhere to go? Come on, if he wants to die, just let him go. Thank you. The dark judgmental one understands. What's your name? Your friends call me Deuce. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan Frank Fletcher. Frank is my dad's name. <laughs> Why do you want to die, Juice? Julie. I'm sorry. It's complicated. I'm sure he doesn't really want to die, honey. I'm sure it was just an accident, wasn't it? Yes, it was just an accident. See? I'm fine. Thank you for not driving too fast. I'll see you around. Okay, look, I'm sorry for the whole car in front of the hospital and all that. Okay, I'm sorry. Are you sure you have somewhere to go? There's a storm coming. I'll be fine. Would you like to come to our house for dinner, Deuce? Okay, Deuce would love to come to dinner. Would Deuce love to come to dinner? Deuce, you've been cordially invited to dinner <laughs> at the Fletcher's residence. Cordially, Deuce, cordially. What do you have? Meatloaf. Again? <laughs> You're sure you don't bite the heads off bats, right? You're an asshole. <laughs> asshole! Uh, maybe a shower? No. Yes. I'm sure we can work something out. Oh my god, this is so disgusting! <clears throat> oh, hey, Deb. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Julie. Thank you. So how are things in the Fletcher household? Jordan's doing well. Keeping yeah. up with his meds okay? Yeah. How's Julie? She's still stuck to me. Ever since Frank. She, she just won't. She's just scared. I notice Christy has something new going on. Yeah, don't get me started. Listen, Deb, if if you ever need anything or even My just need to kingdom for your meatloaf. I'm sorry, Steve. I've really gotta go. Yeah. Great. A coffee would be wonderful. I uh glad you asked. better, Papa. It's good as new. Was it God? Maybe God. Magic. Science. Who knows? Could I fall off the roof anytime I want? It is not a toy. It is a curse and a gift. And not to be tampered with. If you hurt yourself voluntarily, I will leave you to have your eyes pecked out by the crows. 
George! No, he needs to understand, and so do you. Do you understand? Look at me. Do you understand? Good. Okay. Don't worry. He's just being an old grump. Come on. Shall we try out your new leg? Ah, the wonders of a mother's touch. I've never seen him do that before. Mom, eyes on the road! Sorry. I prefer not to hit another drunk today. Christy, please! Manners! Let go! You're scaring me! Sorry. Please don't touch that. Save it. He doesn't understand anything. I think you'd be surprised at what he understands. Jesus, Lord! Our son! George, he's bleeding badly. Christopher, what happened? How did you hurt yourself? Those stories you told me, are they true? The doctor's in town today. That's an hour's ride, an hour's bleeding like this. We could bandage it well. God we'll... damn it, George! Our son! today for the second day in a row. The storm system has settled into the area and authorities have put a storm warning into effect. Downpours are expected for the next few days, but residents of this family town are hoping that the worst is over. Meanwhile, How could you let that thing into our house? Show some compassion. We hit him with our car, we nearly killed him. He wants to die. Our alarm bell's not going off somewhere for you. Now because of your driving, I might get raped and killed. Tell me how. What? I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, look at you. He's probably in the bathroom using my toothbrush to scrub his toenails. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't do that. Can I get him some clothes from Dad's wardrobe? And then maybe if I close my eyes and think really hard, I can pretend we have a father. I already gave him some of your father's old clothes. They belong to Dad. Yes, they do. And I'm sure your father would have happily given them you up. You can't just give away Dad's clothes. Honey, we'll keep the important stuff. It's all important! I wish it was your clothes we were giving away. Go to your room and stay there until you feel like you want to treat the rest of the people in this house with some respect. Oh, shit. the light bulb in there.
everything all right in there? Everything's okay. Looks like Family Day is canceled with a disaster at Pier 11. Flooding and torrential downpours have halted family fun for this weekend. Officials from the park are hoping to have it back up and running by the holiday season, but are waiting for the waters to recede before rebuilding can resume. And this downpour is from the same storm system. Wow, you clean up good. It's been a while since I shaved, so... My friends call me Deuce. I'm Tepper. And I'm Julie. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Julie. And nice to meet you, Deb. Deborah is fine. My husband used to call me Deb. Sure. Uh, dinner's almost ready. Great. Hello, Mr. Deuce. Hi. Right. High five. You guys are so lame. Lame for who? Can I high five? Sure. No throwing food, okay? Okay, Deborah. It's mom. Okay, Deborah. You have a lovely home and a lovely bath. Whose is the red toothbrush? Mine. Why? I just like red as well. Deuce, how come you walked in front of our car? Didn't your teacher ever show you how to cross the road? Say you forgot, honey. <laughs> forgot. Forgot what? How you're supposed to cross over to the other side of the road. I guess I never really knew. That's silly. That's really silly, Deuce. You know it's a shame we can't take an unwanted life and give it to someone who was taken before their time. I agree. It is a shame. You have to excuse her. She just recently lost her father. Don't you dare make excuses for me. Especially not to the street drunk. Have you got anything to drink? That's the first vaguely sober thing I've heard you say all day. I will not have this at my table. Mom! <laughs> okay, everyone, stop it. We have company. Please. Listen, whatever it is that you think you're doing, you can forget it. Because you're not welcome in my home. You're not welcome in my father's home. You should just leave. Strange. What? It's just that a home is a place where family loves and respects each other. Not a dumping ground for one person's emotional burden. You're not the only one in pain here. Take a moment to see that. Dinner was lovely, thank you. I'll be sleeping in the garage. Where'd Deuce go? He went to sleep in the garage. Mom? Yes, sweetie. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what's a grilled cheese then? I do. Oh, me, me too. Okay. Grilled cheese. 
Vicky. Yeah, me too. Can't. I won't. You know I want to go home. Stop looking at me like that. Just leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it! No more! You hear? No more! Leave me alone! Christy. Christy.
Where's my beautiful little girl? Where is she? Where's my beautiful little girl? Where's my little baby? Where is she? What has happened to you? Hey, mommy. Go downstairs, Julie. Hi, Deuce. Hi, Julie. Your guitar is pretty. Thank you. You're not sleeping in the garage. You're not an animal. I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> <laughs> There's a soft couch if you want one. Thank you. Jordan, what are you doing? You wake him up. He's sleeping. Are you coming with me? His name is Deuce. He's sleeping. He lives on the street. Where on the streets? I don't know, on the streets. He looks different. Why is he different? He shaved, that's why. Jordan! What are you two doing up? Deborah, why is he different? Mom, I'm your mother. And what are you two doing at bed? And what are you doing trying to poke our guest in the face? Just looking. Without a beard, he looks handsome. 
different. Different handsome? You can't be serious. Here comes the party pooper. You people are psycho. Christy, why don't, why don't you smile anymore? You, you used to smile all the time. Don't, don't you like to smile anymore? It's not that, honey. What are you guys doing anyway? Look. Look. Looking. At what? He's different. Yeah, because he shaved the gorilla that was hanging from his face. That gorilla. <laughs> oh, ow! Keeps my face warm in the winter. <laughs> you know, some people might consider this behavior a bit strange. Christy's smiling. No, I'm not. You smiled. No, I didn't. You're smiling now. No, I'm not. Off to bed. When the two corners of your mouth turn up, it's called a smile. Oh, well, that didn't happen. Okay. Yes, it did. Juice made Christy smile. Juice smile. made Christy <laughs> smile. Juice made Christy smile. Juice made Christy smile. Juice made Christy smile. Juice made Christy What do you want? Well, you know what I want, Deuce. And then take it. And leave my family alone. You know I've tried my hand at that their guitar, and it's as good as trash if not played by the right hand. <laughs> now, whose hands are those? <laughs> well, your hands, Deuce, yours. Spit it out, Mayhew. It's Professor Mayhew. I'm an educated man, Mr. Arlington, and I've been thinking with my highly educated mind how I can become the most powerful man in the world. Hmm. I figure I need two things, money and time. Money I can just take, <laughs> but time. Time's a little more complicated. At least it wasn't until I met you. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have saved me, sir. I was meant to die bloody and shot to pieces. But you gave me life. And I figure, now this is just a theory, but I figure Everything I do is on your head. <laughs> I'm in the clear because the life I was supposed to live has been lived. So I'm free to do as I wish. <laughs> Everything I do, you have done. The blackness on my hands. Rest on your soul! <laughs> Please don't do this. The world is divided into two things. Things I don't want and things I want. And sir, I want you.
touch your eyes. Now open wide. I touch your nose and then your toes. Wake up, wake up, sleepy heads. With the kids from me. The storm flared up late last night, but weather officials are saying that the worst may be over. Hopefully we'll see the sun again sooner rather than later. Now their news... Sweetie. Morning, Deborah. Fine, Deborah. N no problem, Deborah. Where's Deuce? You shouldn't have shaved the beard. Beautiful. Deborah, thanks for your kindness. The bath was truly lovely. You have a wonderful family, and I wish you all the best for your future. Deuce. Well, I guess that's the end of that. All right, everybody, let's go. Time to go. Up and at them. Deborah, thank you for your kindness. The bath was truly lovely. You have a wonderful family, and I wish you all the best for the future. Deuce. No. Hi. No, Chris Christy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you do? Uh, so Jordan, what did you do? I'm sorry, Chris. I, no. I, That's Dad's I, greenhouse! I made a mistake, Chris. No. I, Enough! This, both of you! I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, uh, hit him, Jordan! Uh, no! Enough! <laughs> Both of you, enough! Sorry, Stop! Sorry, Deborah. It's all of you, retard! Enough! Both of you, enough! Inside, now! Sorry, Deborah. Hey, easy. You could have gave me a heart attack. That's no way to open the door. It says uh, the two cheeseburgers and extra creamy cappuccino you had for breakfast that's giving you a heart Jordan, attack. Come here hey, 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 easy. I'm disabled. Hardly. Jordan! Can't you see that I'm handicapped? Please forgive me for being so rude earlier. Uh, may I speak to your mother? She's indisposed. Right. 
She's indisposed. Have you by chance seen this man? Who are you? I'm a reporter, a journalist. For who? For whom? I run my own web publication. Wow, good for you. You're a blogger. Ah, oh, very nasty little girl. So, have you seen this man? Yeah, that's Deuce. He was here this morning, but he just left. Are, are you sure? Yeah, it's the same scar on his cheek. His real name is George Arlington Jr. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. This picture is over a hundred years old. That's impossible. <laughs> Look, here's my card. Call me if you see him. It's important, okay? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Today's youth, no respect. Playing video games and masturbating to free porn. What's your problem? He's having a seizure. Should I call an ambulance? Second seizure in two weeks. It was a mild seizure. He's okay. He did the right thing by calling an ambulance. But the seizure stopped on its own before it could do any lasting harm. Now we're gonna run a few more tests just to make sure everything's fine. But he looks okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Here, take this. It's got my pager number on it. I live right around the corner from you, so if this ever happens again, I wanna be your first call, okay? I have to ask, Deb, is Jordan getting his daily seizure medication? Um, I might have most days. Um, I don't really remember. No. I may have forgotten. Am I a bad mother? You're not a bad mother. No, I'm a terrible mother. You're not a bad mother. But I need to know, is Jordan getting any medication at all? Oh, we can't really afford it right now. Collapsed. The hospital said we needed to find him a free clinic, so I just brought him home. Yeah, our home, not his. I'm going out. With who? Alan, not that it's any of your business. When will you be back? Late. Ten. Whatever. Deborah, look at look at how high I can jump. <laughs> wow, that is high. You wanna play? Wanna play? Okay, this time I'm the princess. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't let her speak to you that way. Can you fix that up and uh, play me something? I don't play anymore. You carry that thing with you everywhere you go and you don't play anymore. We can talk. Okay.
the most fascinating cases I've ever come across is George the Deuce Arlington Jr., the man I've been searching for since I was a child. We were a family of five, mother and father, myself, and two brothers. On a quiet Sunday, my mother and I were tragically struck by a bus. There was blood everywhere, and in the mind of a child, I remember it being like a river. <laughs> now that's impossible. From nowhere, a man appeared at our side. He had a fiery red guitar. He knelt down at our side and he started playing. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. We felt electricity run through our bodies, lights around us, and the music sunk into our souls. And if I were to describe to you what I saw, you would surely not believe me. He continued to play. Light, so much light. I watched as the deadly hole in my mother's head shrunk and then vanished. I felt magical warmth pulsing through my leg, and when I looked, it began to heal. But the unspeakable happened. Before he could finish, a man appeared with a gang of hoodlums and chased the healing minstrel back into the city streets. How could I ever forget the faces that changed my life forever? I couldn't. I see them both standing in front of me as if it was yesterday. Doctors looked, but they could find no evidence of any recent trauma to my mother's head. Only an old scar. Yet blood doesn't lie. The experts collectively decided that blood must have come from her nose, mouth, or ears. They just never found any traces of blood there. They told my parents I should have lost my leg. I didn't, although I've been stuck with this brace my whole life. It has been healed just enough to remind me every day that miracles do happen. I don't know what happened that day. But here are some photos and articles I have found, starting from the 1850s of this Mr. George Arlington Jr. I am on the hunt, and I will find him. Look, these are the events as they happen. So if you can, you can explain it. I want to meet him. Who, Alan? Yes. Quit your meatloaf, Deborah. Get out of my life. What are you gonna be home? Late. Don't do anything. <sighs> Stupid. Jordan is a hemp on his best days. He needs constant supervision so he doesn't hurt himself or someone else. Or if he happens to have an episode like today, he's my beautiful boy and I just can't control him. Julie's the sweetest little girl you're ever likely to meet. But since her father passed away, she can't be more than five feet from me, and it drives me nuts. She demands every other bit of attention I have. My hands are full two times over, and that doesn't leave much room for Christine screaming for attention. I can't talk to her, she won't even listen to me, and the things she says just break my heart. What am I supposed to do? It's not fair on her. It's not fair on me. It's just not fair. <laughs> there are days I wish she was dead. My own child. What kind of mother wants nothing to do with her own child? She won't let me.
got me more in the loss of my husband, my best friend, then how am I supposed to pay for all this without break around? When is it my turn to throw in the towel? When can I say enough? When is my turn to be the victim? When can I cry? <laughs> for your children, never. But for yourself, right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was a time I'd be repulsed by somebody like me, too. I'm not repulsed. <laughs> what happened to you? I stopped caring. Why? It's difficult to keep caring when your family's taken from you. And it's your fault. How? I wanted something I had. Something I could do. They wanted me. I pleaded with them, telling him we would all go with them. We would leave our farm and do whatever he wanted. He just laughed. He said, this ain't no family hotel. He raised his gun and he shot my wife and son in cold blood without even flinching. You bastard! No! No! <laughs> destroyed everything I ever loved. Oh my God. Where was God? Where was that cold-hearted bastard? I died that day. I became this lifeless shell. And I've never been able to climb out from underneath this rock that sits on my chest, slowly choking me. I'll be on the couch.
you like the pizza? talking about, man? We're just making out, man. What are you, a cop? What are you doing? Come on, man. Please, no, man. Please, no. Wait, wait. Please, no. Let me go, and I'll never come back again, man. Just relax. No, listen up. You might enjoy it. Please, no. No. Dude, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. <coughs> Better men out there than that. Why did you have to save me? Would you prefer I left you to be raped? No, you idiot. I mean, why did you save me? Why wasn't it my daddy that saved me? Why wasn't he here to protect me? I don't know. But he's out there. Where? Where is he? Show him to me. Point to him. Where are you? It's not actually the structure that's the important part. It's the life inside. It's the value. These walls, they're nothing without the life inside them. You are the life inside your father. The same as one day, your children will be the life inside of you. And you, you will be the walls that protect them. You understand? Come on. 
Let's get you inside. Okay. I saw a website about you. Is it true? Why don't you play anymore? It's not just playing. It's never been just playing. When you play, do you get better too? Stronger. Younger. forgotten. It's where the music comes from. If you must. <laughs> Watch his hands, don't kill him. Yeah, get him. <laughs> your eyes. Now open wide. I touch your nose and then your toes. Wake up, wake up, sleepy heads with a kiss from me. Now out of bed. I <laughs> 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 Jordan, where's Julie? 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 Right here, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you ready? I asked you first. You you ready? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's clean this up. Let's just grab everything. 
take it out of here, okay? Finish this up. <laughs> yeah? You're a tool. Have it? Can't you see what I mean? This ain't going to be bad. Keep going. <laughs> Deuce. Deuce. Yeah. I don't have the money to fix up an old greenhouse, and I don't have time to be looking after a bunch of flowers and fauna. Don't worry, buddy. You let me take care of the money, and Christy's gonna take care of the plants. Yeah, right. Okay. You have a gold card? Yeah. It's from my greedy face. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> we got shopping to do. Let's go. Juice, <laughs> look, it's a, uh... it's a boy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a boy. Weather's starting to get worse. Lemonade, guys. Wow, this looks amazing. Where'd you learn how to do all this? I used to run a farm. Then I worked part time as a handyman to help put myself through college. Oh, you went to college? Which one? Harvard. And Yale. Went through college phase. Mommy, your mouth is open. Is there anything you didn't learn to do? I never learned to swim. It's good. Thank you.
and strong? If you take care of it, yes. Gently. Gentle. Big and strong like Jordan. And Julie. Like Jordan and Julie. Even Christy? Even Christy. She's a bitch. Hey, that's a little harsh, Julie. You add some soil? Yeah. Good. All the way around. Christy's just sad. Christy's mean. She's nasty with Jordan. But the most important thing about taking care of these plants is that they need love. Plants don't need love. Sure they do. Now add some water. Please. Good job. Good job. Good, good job, Jordan. Good job, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> touch the guitar. It's not yours to touch. Calm down. She's the one who hurt no, you. That will heal. You stupid girl. Hey! Stupid girl. Hey, stupid girl. You can fix people with this music. Dudes, I went too deep. I got it here, Mom. I don't understand. Just get him to play and you'll see. I won't play. Play, play the Please. guitar, dude. No! <laughs> I need to check who it is first. Where are the bandages? I'm not playing! Is everything okay? This is on your hands! You and that damn website! George Arlington Jr., this is an author! Mommy! Not now, Julie! What the devil's going on here? We had an accident. Who the hell are you? I run a website that tracks Deuce, George Arlington Jr., through history. Him! Are you, are you okay? If Deuce plays, I'll be fine. Play! You said you would play? Play! Play! Play absolutely out of the question. Deuce, who are you? Deuce was Mom, a nickname given to a on? farmer named George Arlington yeah, Jr., like... who he managed to escape his captors, and then he bludgeoned to death with a rock. <laughs> they murdered his wife and child. You killed people? I brought a murder around my children. They killed my family. That was a long time ago. It was more than 100 years ago. Impossible. 
I tracked that scar and that guitar through the abolition of slavery, Civil War, World War I, Prohibition, the Cold War, all to just say thank you. As a boy, my mother and I were hit by a bus. You were the boy. I was that boy. You reminded me so much of my Deuce! Play! Deuce! Play! Jordan, please! Play. Don't you play. shout at him! Play! Oh, let's go Can you not play? Don't play! Don't forget to Jordan. play for Jordan! Don't, don't forget touch to him. play for Jordan! Can you play? Stop. Stop. I want Stop. music! Music! Stop. Music! Touch music! Him. I want to die too! Music! Mom! 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 Music! Oh, jeez! Please! Oh, good. Call an ambulance! Please don't do this. I don't want to die. Do this. I just want to go home. <laughs> Call an ambulance! No! <laughs> Christy? Hey, Sprocket. Waste a single moment being angry. Why aren't you here, but... You and your brother and sister are the best parts of me. I left the best parts of me behind. The greenhouse. Yeah. I'm the greenhouse. Christy? Yeah. Be a good person. I love you.
repercussions when I play. Deuce. Your family is safe. Taking me away from mine for another lifetime. I'm sorry. I just wanted to die. Just wanted to die. Just no. wanted to die. No. It's too precious. Funny thing. This guitar is my only friend. Stay with me. the next time someone scrapes their knee or falls out of a tree. I can't. Hello? Is everything okay? I saw the door open. It's just in the neighborhood. Dad? I knew you were here. For years, I knew you were here. I saw you here. Looking for me. I want to wrap my hands around your neck and choke the life out of you, old man. I beg you. Do it. Do it. You'd only be doing me a favor. Look at me. I wanted to live forever. There wasn't anything I wouldn't do to get it. You destroyed everything I ever loved. And even in the end, I cannot forgive myself. There's time. Oh. Time for penance. No, deuce, please, sir. Have mercy on an old and tired man. Have mercy? You made me watch as you killed my family in cold blood. I know. Why should I afford you the slightest courtesy? Is everything okay there, Professor? Everything's fine. Okay. You cannot begin to know the depths of my sorrow. Please, Dave's. Let me pass on to the place of judgment to be properly punished for the pain I've caused. Please. It doesn't matter the decade or the shape of my face. I can still see their faces every time I close my eyes. You and that bare guitar kept me alive for so long. You start to forget that time is valuable. Stop punishing yourself, Deuce. I pulled the trigger. I killed him. 
you could not have stopped me. If it wasn't me, it'd be someone else would come by. It wasn't your fault. It was mine. I will burn in hell for eternity. But you need to give yourself an expiry date, Deuce. You need to live until you die. Rest in peace, me. Live in peace, please. Thank you. saw or heard of George Arlington again. One day, the vagabond minstrel simply vanished. Maybe he committed suicide. Maybe he got really old and died the way people are supposed to. His life could have been filled with excitement and adventure. My mom always said it was probably as dull as dishwater, but the twinkle in her eye said something different. I think Deuce finally learned to swim. Whatever happened to Deuce is a mystery, but one thing is certain, he went home. I used to live 